Breaking in the past hour, Florida DOT is going after the vendor involved in the SunPass maintenance upgrade. This comes after problems with a scheduled online maintenance. And yesterday, FDOT said SunPass accounts would not see charges until that system is fixed. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky went to get answers. The conduit office building is located right next door to the SunPass Service Center here at West Oaks Mall. But when we went inside looking for answers, they directed us to someone at the Florida Department of Transportation, not their company. I was just handed this post-it note to contact FDOT and that they had no comment, even though I had questions for them about what they have to say about what FDOT has said about them. So we took our questions to the SunPass Customer Service Center and were given the exact same name and number. So we called it and were told that they had no answers for us, but would forward our questions up the chain. All we did find here were frustrated pass holders who haven't been able to pay online. It's been crazy. I mean, uh, they took everything off. You can't call anyone. You can't. And when we tried to put the card online, they wouldn't even take it. Late this afternoon, FDOT did release a statement saying in part, at this time, there are tens of millions of transactions which will be processed over the next several weeks. In order to better serve the customer and avoid unintended consequences, individual account charges will be posted to accounts gradually over the number of weeks. But customers like David say that's not good enough. I don't think it's right. I don't think we should be charged for anything with, with this whole debacle. The question is, when will that start? We're still trying to get that answered. And as for what FDOT said about Conduin, that vendor, they will be held accountable. They will be facing some stiff penalties. I have forwarded that information to Conduin to see what they have to say about this. I hope to have more on that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Ocoee, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.